Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how do you integrate Tomcat with the Apache web server using XAMPP. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to go to Google, do a search on XAMPP, and go to apachefriends.org, which should be the first link, which is the XAMPP website. And you're going to get the right distro for your operating system. For me, it's Windows. Now what you need to do is get the zip version of XAMPP and the Tomcat add-on and download them both to your desktop which I've already done after you download them you'll open them up starting with the XAMPP download and you'll extract that XAMPP folder to wherever you like I've already extracted mine to the desktop. After you do that, you'll open up the Tomcat add-on. And you'll extract all those files to inside the XAMPP folder. And you'll let it overwrite everything it wants to overwrite. And after that's done, you'll close that out. You'll go to that XAMPP folder. You'll run the batch file, setup underscore XAMPP. You'll run that. As you can see, that's running. And one thing I forgot to mention is to run a Tomcat server, you do need uh, the JDK installed. And after that, you can close that much file out after it completes. You can read the readme file for the Tomcat, and it'll tell you where the um, the document root is for the Tomcat server. That's kind of important. Now what I like to do is I like to set up the Apache server and the Tomcat server so that they both use the same document root. By default, the Apache server uses the htdocs folder as its document root. But we're going to change that. You can see the htdocs folder there. I'm going to go into Apache, comp, which is short for configuration, and httpd.conf. Now that is the default uh, configuration file that contains all of your information for your Apache server. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to look for document root. I'm going to change that from xampp slash htdocs to the web apps directory of the Tomcat server which is the default document root for the Tomcat server and I'm going to scroll down here and look at this first directory tag and change that to the same as well and sorry this is kind of long so I wrote it on all my directions I'm going to add these two lines outside of, not out, just anywhere outside of a directory tag or any other type of tag in the folder to the comp file, which is server signature off and server tokens prod. Now that'll prevent the, um, the server from showing any type of version information or anything like that. That's just a good security policy. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in any directory tag and I'm going to put dash indexes inside that tag. Now what that's going to do is that's going to prevent directory browsing. Now this is the main directory tag, so I can probably just put it in here, but I'm going to put it in here as well.
I'm going to save that. Close that file out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the Apache port of the server and my SQL. Get XMPP control. Start Apache. Start MySQL. And they're both running. Which means everything everything that we put in the um, configuration file is kosher and that's all working well. Another thing I like to do is XAMPP has a default directory that lets you look at all the uh, security and stuff like that. So what I do is it's in the htdocs folder. Do is I get that, I copy it, go into Tomcat, web apps, and I paste it in. So that I can do this. Gonna open up the browser window and go to localhost slash XAMPP. First time it'll make you choose what language you want. Welcome to XAMPP for Windows. I'm gonna click on the security link. And you'll see it says we have a bunch of stuff uh, unsecure. So we need to put a password on this XAMP directory and put a password for MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So we're going to click on the security link below the little chart. And I'm going to set up a password for MySQL. Set up a password for the XAMPP directory. Go back to the little security link. Everything is now with secure except the PHP is not running in safe mode. And safe mode is just a configuration that adds a little bit extra security to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Right now. now we're going to stop both Apache and MySQL. Go back to the XAMPP directory, open up Apache, binaries. We're going to look for php.ini. There we go. I'm going to do a little search for safe. Looking for safe mode. And you can see it's currently set to off. We're going to change it to on. We're going to save that, close that, 